How much longer are you gonna wait? How much longer? You're gonna wait another 30 seconds? You're gonna wait another minute? You're gonna wait another hour? Maybe we'll, we'll start in a couple hours. You know what, how about I just wait till tomorrow? You're gonna wait till tomorrow? You're gonna wait another week? You're gonna wait another month? How much longer are you gonna wait? All great people start. They start anywhere, at any place, and at any time. They start whether they're hurting, they start whether they're excited. It does not matter where they are, they just start. Just start, just do the work. You just go, and procrastination dies. If you can't control your own brain, and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently to build this mindset that when things get hard, which they will be, we don't shy away, we don't quit, we attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I want to go. You see, I've learned everybody on the face of this planet, they want something. Everybody that comes into this world, they want something. Everybody wants greatness. Everybody wants excellence. But the question is, what are you willing to go through in order to get it? What type of dedication? What type of commitment? What type of sacrifice? I, I tell people all the time, if this is not your vision, if you don't see this as part of your real contribution, if it doesn't make you fully alive and express, and it's your real goals, bail. Quit sooner than later. But if you know it's right for you, then resilience is everything. The ability to be resilient toward your dreams, to keep marching on, win the struggle, the trial, the chaos, the frustration, the hurt, the anger, the disappointment, the shame, the regret, the embarrassment. When all that is there and you keep marching on, you know you'll be a successful person. It's the ability to be optimistic enough to know this too shall pass. This time shall change. I will find a way. I will honor my truth and keep pursuing my dreams. Thick and thin, storm or night, I will maintain my march. Mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mountain. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of going up against the number one team. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. I hope that you understand that every single person that you look at, every single person that you admire, every single person that you aspire to be like is literally just a regular human fucking being like you that has worked their mother fucking ass off. Now it's gonna be hard. Understand that. It's gonna be very hard. But you ain't got nothing else to do because let me tell you something about being not successful. Being not successful, that's really hard. So you might as well apply yourself to something that has a benefit. And what some of you are doing wrong, you play the game, but you're not the game. You play football, but you're not football. You got to go all in. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. That is something that is built and ingrained into a successful person, not because they were lucky with it, not because they grew up with it, because they developed it. By doing it once, they did it again, they did it again, they did it again. The more bold and courageous you are, the more bold and courageous you'll be in the future. The more you overcome yesterday's struggles today, the more you'll be able to overcome the bigger struggles tomorrow. You have to suffer. You have to make that a tattoo on your f***ing brain so when that hard time comes again, you don't forget it. You have to struggle. The bigger the struggle, the bigger the peace. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever wanna be successful. You have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul or whatever the f*** is in front of you. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless. But you have to have the will, the heart, the courage to go that distance when you're exactly jacked up. You have nothing left to give and give more. What gets you out of bed? What gets you off the couch? What gets you in the gym? It's not your alarm. It's not your parents. It's not your friends. It's you. The only one that can make it happen for you is you. No one's coming. No one's coming to lift the weights for you. No one's coming to study for you. No one's coming to do the work for you. No one's coming to do any of that for you. You gotta do it all yourself. If you're gonna get it done, it's up to you to make it happen. Today you have a choice to make. 
Are you going to be a winner or a loser? Are you going to sit back and chill, let things slide, take the easy way? Or are you going to get up and grind? Are you going to move your life forward? Success is not given. It's earned. And you earn it every single day with the effort you put in. There's going to be more times you don't want to do something than you do want to. You're constantly going to have to do things that you don't want to do. When your mind starts kicking and screaming about having to do these hard things, you must take control. You've got to discipline your emotions. Get control of your feelings. By getting control of your feelings, you gain control of your life. When you do this over and over and over again, you change your brain. You become tougher. You become the one who decides what gets done and the level of success you achieve. And only those who discipline themselves are free in life. Your mind is your strongest weapon, but you must take control of it. You have to tell your brain where you want to go. Don't give in to the easy path, the short-term gratification that's whispering in your ear. Shut that voice down. Do not listen to it. Listen to your will. Listen to your discipline. Listen to the alarm clock that's telling you to get up and get after it. When your brain tells you to give in, you push forward. When it tells you to take the day off, you go harder. Don't allow your weak feelings to dictate where you end up in your life. You stay intensely focused on it. You fight through that fatigue. You fight through the noise. Because on the other side of that is your greatness. You have to force yourself. Anything that's a break from your routine is going to require force. And the only way you'll get it is by forcing yourself to be uncomfortable. Get out of your head. Get out of your feelings. Your feelings are screwing you over. I don't care how you feel, and neither should you. If you listen to how you feel when it comes to what you want, you'll never get it because you'll never feel like doing it. As humans, we are emotional, but you've got to discipline your emotions. You've got to activate the thinker in you. You've got to decide where you want to go and don't allow your feelings to get in the way. Discipline is doing what you said you would do long after the mood you set it in has left. You don't want to get up, you get up. You don't want to go for a run, you go for a run. You don't want to hammer on the project, you hammer on the project. Do things that suck every single day of your life because that's how you grow. Discipline is the path to freedom. Discipline is the driver of daily execution. Discipline defeats the infinite excuses that hold you back. Make discipline part of your daily life and your daily life will get better. What do you do when no one's watching? What do you do when you know you're supposed to do something without anyone there to supervise you? Do you get it done or do you kick back and relax? That requires discipline. It takes discipline to do the things you know you need to do when it needs to be done, when everything in you doesn't want to do it. Little pressure equals little progress. Stop taking shortcuts. Stop taking the easy way. Go to the heat because the sooner you go to the heat, the sooner the dream. You gotta get more intense about your life. You gotta stop being so casual. You gotta be intentional, deliberate, and focused on what you want. Because it's every single decision we make that forms our future. We have the opportunity to chase that best version of us every second of every day. Every single day alters the direction in the course of our lives. So you cannot allow another day to slip by wasted. 